Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have the stable version of Chrome, version 111, rolling out, which Google made available on the 7th of March, which was once again late yesterday in my region. And um, the latest release now is out of the early stable version, as I did post on last week. Now, um, there is quite a little bit going on with this latest update and um, there are four key highlights and then over and above the four new features we get the all important security fixes that have rolled out and there are numerous security fixes that have rolled out in google chrome version 111 so um first of all I have to double check that you have this latest update um, because we are dealing with security threats head to your menu help about google chrome and as you can see, the latest version in bold is 111.0.5563.65. And that is now the latest stable version and release for desktop. And that can be either, that point release could be either 0.64 or 0.65, depending if you are using Linux and Mac or Windows. So for Linux and Mac, 0.64. For Windows, 0.64 and or 0.65. Now, just to mention the security fixes um, that have rolled out, and there are numerous security fixes that have rolled out, 40 in total. And out of those 40 security fixes um, to, that have rolled out to address 40 vulnerabilities, eight of, the, eight of those vulnerabilities have been high-risk vulnerabilities, which is your second highest ranked after a critical vulnerability. So important to double check your browser is up to date. As I always mention, it is your first line of defense to the online world. And that's even if you're not interested in new features, just update to patch your browser with the latest security fixes. Now, um, there are a couple of uh, use after free type confusion in V8, uh, use after free again, heat buffer overflow. And those are all common Chromium browser um, security flaws and exploits that do get patched from time to time in the Chromium-based web browsers. So in total, 40 security fixes. Eight of those are high risk. So double check your browser is up to date. And Google doesn't make any mention of any zero days that have been exploited in the wild. Now with the security fixes out the way, just to focus on four key highlights for the purpose of today's video. And I did mention these briefly last week. But uh, just to do a recap and a go a little bit more in-depth for the purpose of today's video. We get improvements to the new download UI. So Google has been working on an improved download UI and bubble. Um, basically, um, which removes the downloads at the bottom of your uh, Chrome web browser, as we have not been known to know. And it places the download bubble in the uh, top right of the toolbar as you can see now this isn't a default feature rolling out to google chrome version 111 and um, this uh, download hub and bubble is hidden behind two experimental flags in the stable version so if you want to enable the download bubble what you need to do is head over to your omnibox and just enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags and these are the two flags you need to enable enable download bubble in a enable download bubble version 2 uh, you just change the default to enabled and then restart your browser which will then apply those two flags and then you'll see the download bubble in the top right of your toolbar replacing the download um, at the downloads at the bottom of your browser and um, with this latest update to the flags um, in version 111 you can see now how many downloads you are downloading simultaneously and at once so that's basically the improvements um, over and above placing the download bubble in the toolbar you can see simultaneously how many downloads you are downloading all at once so improvements to the download bubble and ui now and um, just to mention the next one quickly um there are now smoother transitions in pwas um, the web apps and um that's according to a new apr um, in the browser that makes it easier for developers now to implement smooth transitions uh, between pages in web apps. So this is once again Google trying to improve the uh, web apps, the PWAs, to behave more like native apps on your system. So improvements um, to smoother transitions in web apps. And then um, the next one is regarding uh, revoking permissions um, from websites that are no longer required. And this one 
has been sparking a little bit of debate and controversy. But nonetheless, if we just head over to our settings, privacy and security, as many of you know, um, the browser has a safety check tool, which I have posted on previously, which can help uh, keep you, you safe from data breaches, bad extensions and more. So it just does safety checks on your computer. Now, um, what safety check is including now um, is, is now includes more recommendations and reminders if you do use the tool. And it also includes the ability now to revoke permissions, as I mentioned last week, for sites you haven't visited in over two months. So um, if you do do a safety check, you will have that option now. And it will revoke um, permissions for sites you haven't uh, visited in, in over two months. So just take note of that. And that's part of the, new, the, um, the improvements that have rolled out for the safety check tool. And that one, though, has been sparking a bit of debate and controversy because obviously users don't want Google just fiddling with their permissions and so on. So go check that out. Um, click on your safety check tool and just go check that out more in depth for yourself. And then the fourth and final um, kind of improvement for the purpose of today's video is regarding the picture-in-picture, -picture, the PIP window, um, which can be used, obviously, when, as an example, watching YouTube videos. You get your picture-in-picture -picture window. And there have been some improvements that have been made to that. And I did mention this last week, but just to do a, um, a recap for today's video, um, Google is testing a new document, picture-in-picture -picture API. Basically, that it will enable developers to open a PIP window that can be used with um, more HTML content and even includes a timer, believe it or not. And that's not just for videos. So um, I did post on this a while back um, in February. So I'll leave a link to the whole video I did post on this um, regarding the new picture in picture where just to do a recap on that video, Google is testing a new document in picture in picture where the website can provide custom controls and inputs that will also provide new useful video conferencing controls and that will improve your picture in picture video experience so that's now rolling out in google chrome version 111 and as mentioned i'll leave um, a link to that video which will provide you with a lot more information if you would be interested and then just moving on to what's up and coming because that's more or less what's new in chrome version 111 for version 112, which will be the next stable release, the early stable will be rolling out on the 29th of March. So that will be a week um, before we get the actual stable release rolling out to all users, which will be a week later. So Chrome version 112 rolling out um, in the early stable on the 29th of March. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.